All right, some thoughts on episode nine. Here I am in Reno, Nevada. Some thoughts on episode nine, part three, the trilogy. This is the conclusion of my Rise of Star Walker videos. Because I don't care enough about it to actually put any effort into these videos. It's almost as if the film was made to create controversy. Because God knows they can't tell a story to save their lives. <laughs> I think with this, they just wanted to please everyone. And so no one is happy. So... With this film, you're going to get lots of different versions possible, depending on who does the editing. Ah, it was a chore to sit through. I couldn't wait for it to be over about 10 minutes in. <laughs> it was like I was being punished. But I took it. Hey, I paid my five bucks. Didn't want to waste five bucks. I'm still pissed off at the 40 minutes of trailers I had to sit through to even watch the film. So, I've actually gone to the theater twice in the last five years. So, I don't want to go to the theater. The last movie I saw before this in the theater was episode seven. Then I got a free disc a bootleg copy to watch episode 8. I wasn't going to go pay to see that. So. There's not much to talk about. Episode 9. Ray has the body of a 14 year old girl. So who cares. And the only skin she shows. Is her face and her arms. So there's nothing in it for me to watch. I'm a grown man. Do you think I care about lightsabers? <laughs> like spaceships. No, I just want to see like hot chicks doing action stuff like Laura Croft and like cool poses and skimpy outfits with like a good punk rock soundtrack. <laughs> so that sappy Star Wars crap that just makes you feel like crying. <laughs> Which is all just a manipulative process. They made it that way so people could have a manufactured emotional reaction. So go watch Blade Runner. And then you can see how the corporation is now selling you emotions through badly conceived and written Star Wars characters. There was this woman through the whole thing just crying. <laughs> uh, so she ruined the movie for me. I don't know what she was crying about. Another thing that pissed me off was Ben Solo died after all that. Ooh, they kissed. He, oh, he suddenly died. That was stupid. As was just people dying and then they're back to life that was stupid Chewbacca was given nothing to do R2-D2 was given nothing to do <laughs> Ray was given nothing to do <laughs> and just overall I had to suffer through a lot of stupid Sesame Street crap with a bunch of Stupid CGI Muppets who acted like retarded 12 year olds. I couldn't even uh, appreciate the visuals of the movie because there were so many distractions. You can make a movie without any dialogue whatsoever. Why talk <laughs> if you don't have anything to say when it's in a film? Who cares? Is there any one final thought I'd like to end with? Well, all movies can be summed up in one sentence, and I guess I can just say, Ray finds out what her name is. Something she can live with. And who cares? <laughs>